Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central, and I've got a little SQL Compare demonstration brought to you by Redgate Software. Now I want to show you about dynamic data masking and how that works in a new SQL Compare. I've got a SQL Server 2016 instance here, and you'll notice I have a few databases. One is my development database and then my production database. Inside of my development database, I've got a few tables. And if we look at the definition of this particular table, you'll see there's no data masking involved. There's just normal columns. We actually want to mask this order total column. So let's do that. I've got some code here that shows you this actually is not enabled yet. If I run this as DBA, you'll see I've got totals that are greater than zero. And if I run it as a user, I see the same thing. Let's now alter the table. We alter this column, we add the masking with this syntax. And once we do that, if I go back here and I look at this as DBO, we'll see I see the same, I see the same thing. But if I execute it as a user, you'll notice that the data is now masked. That's not the same in production. If I go over to my production uh, instance here and I look at this as DBO, I see data. And as this particular user, I see data as well. So I need to transfer this to production. So let's do that in SQL Compare. I've actually got a project here, but let's go ahead and make a new one. We won't save that one. We will actually pick that instance and that development database as our source. And then we'll pick the instance and the production database as our destination. So we're gonna run that comparison. And one of the things we find here is this order header table is different. And when we look at the differences, what we can see is that that masked item is in development, but it's not in production over here. So let's deploy that over there. I'm going to deploy using SQL Compare, even though I could do the development script. I could certainly save a copy of the script as well. And we'll recompare after deployment. Here's actually the script that's going to run. And when I click deploy now, I get a warning that asks me, do I really want to change this database? I say yes. It's going to deploy that, and then it's going to do the recomparison. And then it's going to come back. And in this case now, these items are now the same. Did it actually work? Well, let's look. If I come back to this production database as DBO, I notice I see all the data there, but let's go as a normal user. The data is now masked. That's a quick tip on how SQL Compare is actually working with SQL Server 2016 and the new dynamic data masking function. Hopefully you'll find this useful and you'll uh, give SQL Compare 12 a try. I'm Steve Jones for SQL Server Central and Redgate Software.